So I was just on the treadmill doing my morning run, heating up my body, get out and face this 10 degree day. And Shuva came in and got me and said, well, here's what she said. Yep, we got cows just out in the road, hanging out in the middle of the road, like you would. I mean, they have plenty to eat on the other side of the fence, but no, let's just, let's just get out and stand in the road. All right, let's put these guys in. Whew. Got another one back there hiding in the trees. Come on, guys, it's cold. I see you. Hey, mama. I'm gonna open this gate, but you guys stay put. All right, guys, come on. was almost too easy. Now yeah, we got spark. Behave. We'll bring a round bale out if you stay put. So look at this, you can see there. So there's their prince leading from the gate. Came down here. Also there. And then Oh wait, some of those are my prints. Shuva taking the boys to school. Oh, it's like 10 degrees outside, but in here it's at least 12, so I don't know. Just went into town and got some hoses and stuff and some new clamps and gonna try to dig in and see how far I get. I got all that attached and I got these attached however I'm kind of nervous about trying to get those on it's a tight fit in a tight space so <sighs> all right next up I'm gonna get this wire prepared all right here we go See how it's on E? It's my first success of the project. The, the gas gauge has been stuck um, past full uh, for the five or six years I've owned this pickup. And so it's, it's registering. It's registering that it's bone dry. So I have a working gas gauge. It's pretty cool.
Oh, they're coming toward me. I don't have anything. So one thing that I've tried to be more than transparent about in these videos is just the highs and lows that come with making this change and uh, trying to be more hands-on. And so I have highs and I have lows. Currently, I'm having a low because I, uh, I don't, I just, it, I, I don't know. I was, uh, tried to get this tank in and I realized nothing was lining up correctly. Nothing was working. I've gotten this far in the process. And I thought, why, why is nothing, why is nothing working out? correctly. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, nothing was lining up. So, so I actually got the old tank out and compared it to the new tank. The old tank is, is considerably longer. I, how did I not, how did I just not even think about that? So, so the old tank is a 20 gallon tank and the new tank is a 16 gallon tank. I, um, I don't even think I thought about any of that. I don't, I just ordered a gas tank from the parts store. Um, so, I don't know. I'm either going to have to see if this will work, although it's looking like it's not. In which case, i got to buy a new gas tank. I guess. I don't know. Maybe I can make it work. But, it's the kind of thing that, the kind of setback that, that fills me with doubt. Uh, about everything. I just start over analyzing the entire, this entire thing. Like, what, can I, how can I be a farmer if I can't even do this one seemingly simple task? So I messed up and I thought, well, I messed up. I made a very, very just silly error in uh, getting the wrong gas tank, but I'll make it work. And so that's what I've been fighting with off and on all day today. Gonna make it work. Well, maybe drill a hole here, maybe drill another hole there, drill a hole in the frame. Well, the filler neck isn't gonna be long enough. It needs to bend. I gave up, I gave up. Sort of. And uh, called around. Amazingly, amazingly, O'Reilly's in Sioux Falls had the tank just right there. Didn't have to order. Didn't have to wait. I just, it's there. I'm going. I'm getting the right tank. Um, so, this is a $95 error that I made. All in all, doing it myself thus far, I think I've completely negated what it, would have cost just to have someone do it. But I'm learning. Learning. That's what it's like. <laughs> it's smiling, see? It's got a dent in it right there. Otherwise, it's a perfect match. Strap location is the same. Everything matches up perfectly. I mean, you think I would have noticed that? Didn't notice it. So now I've got to take that stuff off, that stuff off, that stuff off, that stuff off. Take all that off, put it on that, line it up, put it on. Hmm. I'm not letting it crush my spirit. It's not getting the best of me. Nope. Not going to do that. I'll say this, completely unrelated, being out here in the garage a lot lately, I've been listening to uh, a lot of radio. The commercials around here, they're just, they're just not good. They're just not good. It's like, hey John, how are you? Not good, Bob. I need tires. Well, did you know Smith's Tire has tires and good deals? Sounds great, John. Think I'll head to Smith's Tire. That's it. That's the commercial. 
Well, I'm going to make this a four or five parter. I'll just tackle it as time allows, and uh, we'll see. I'm cold. My hands are cold. My feet are cold. I'm cold.